This is an audio advisor exclusive video. My name is Gord Van Kessel, Director of Engineering for Athena Loudspeakers. It's worth mentioning before I start that five or six years ago with the advent of flat panel video solutions, it forced quality speaker designers to face new and significant challenges. A couple of key points about speaker designs. First of all, low frequency response is determined to a large degree by the internal volume of the system. The second point is cylindrical shapes or tubes are not ideal speaker enclosures. They produce internal standing waves which adversely affect frequency response of the speaker system. Depending on the geometry of the tube, especially the length, the changes in frequency response are significant and detrimental to the output of the speaker and very noticeable by the listener. So these things have to be dealt with. So the challenge was how to make a great sounding speaker that looks good with flat panel video when significant design constraints such as the cabinet volume and shape are limiting its output and performance. Well, here's Athena's solution to that problem. It's the WS60 and the WS100. Here's the 60 and here's the WS100. They are a little deceiving at first glance, but every imaginable acoustic detail was handled with care throughout their development. First of all, I'd like to talk about the tweeter. The Athena Teteron one inch tweeter platform has continually received critical acclaim for its smooth and accurate frequency response. It is also very efficient and handles a lot of power. Its size and design also allow for low crossover points from the tweeter to the woofers so that this product sounds very natural, which is very important for home theater and two-channel listening. A little bit about the woofers. Injection molded polypropylene woofer cones, rubber surrounds, strapped to a powerful motor system, produces high excursion, low distortion, leading to exceptional low frequency response and exceptional power handling. These systems also have passive radiators and you'll see them at either end here and there's a series of them on the WS100. These precision tuned passive radiators produce specific low frequencies. Conventional speakers are either ported or they're sealed. Ported cabinets of this size can cause distortion due to the amount of air pumped through them. Sealed cabinets of this size generally can't produce the low frequencies required while maintaining power handling and efficiency. The WS60 and 100 employ a series of passive radiators in order to produce low frequencies without the distortions introduced by vents or the ports. These passive radiators are positioned specifically to further reduce the effects of standing waves, which is a problem that we talked about at the beginning of this presentation. Another important point is to maintain the maximum amount of internal cabinet volume, which is so critical to the output of the product, we need to use a fairly thin wall. But the, the cabinet itself has to be made of very rigid material. So what we've done is we were using a quarter inch thick aluminum enclosure, which results in a rock solid inert enclosure that eliminates cabinet resonances while maximizing the internal cabinet volume, which is much needed in its output. Also, we employ an MDF front baffle the active elements, whether they be the woofer, the tweeter, or the passives, are mounted to this MDF front baffle. And what this does is it virtually eliminates any mechanical transmission of the drivers and the chassis itself, which is very important and reduces distortion even lower. SWF, which is our standing wave filter, as we talked about before, the standing waves that are built up inside this cabinet are very detrimental to its output. We've come up with a relatively simple, filtering system which is made of foam pieces inside the cabinet which actually break up all of these standing waves so the speaker has a very flat frequency response this must be dealt with when you have cabinets of this size and it's been taken care of in the WS 160. High quality binding posts again they're very important for getting the cleanest possible transmission between your receiver and the speaker itself the WS60 and 100 are also magnetically shielded in case you wanted to use it with a CRT TV or monitor. The end result of these engineering efforts are speaker systems which sound as good as they look and much larger than they appear. Once we had accomplished the acoustic engineering goals, we focused our attention on the ease of use side of the equation. The WS60 comes equipped with one of the most versatile um, user-friendly speaker brackets on the market. The bracket permits vertical and horizontal wall mounting with 15 degree toe-in capabilities. The bracket is designed to be forgiving during installation whereby the user can lower, shift side to side, toe in or out, up or down, without having to remove the bracket from the wall, which obviously is very important so that you can get the product up and running very quickly. 
The mounting bracket is also designed to support the speaker if used horizontally on top of a television set. For those who require that the product be positioned vertically on a tabletop, the product comes equipped with a very sturdy metal base so that you can put it beside your flat panel television on a cabinet. The WS100 comes equipped with a very durable, pretty polycarbonate base, again to make the product look very good and is also extremely strong. Thank you for watching this Audio Advisor exclusive video on the WS60 and 100. My name is Gord Van Kessel, Director of Engineering for Athena Loudspeakers.